The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to a playthrough of Dying Light 2. Stay human. Okay, it's currently nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep it off. So, in the last episode, we kind of just ran around dealing with some odds and ends. Um, nothing really too ex exciting happened in that episode, but we did run into uh, Juan, that sexual pompous deviant. Um, we also ran into... What's his face? Bro, but the other guy. The one whose uh, birthday it was, but whatever. Anyway, we gave him some vodka. Everything is better. I forget his name, but he's a... Uh, uh, Dior? 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 I don't know. He's got a weird name. But uh, we also played a little drunken game with Ro and, and Luan, and she got really, like, pissed off at us, actually, so she wasn't too thrilled um, to answer our questions in the drunken game, or the alcohol game, or the drinking game, whatever you want to call it. I don't drink much. Um, so, you know, those are all things to consider. But uh, nonetheless, we still have to figure out what we can do about Juan, because he has some things that we need. And he's not willing to help unless we can give him something of value, of which we don't have. Um, oh shit, that's a good one. It's also affordable. I think it's a two-handed weapon though, isn't it? This one, unique 1H artifact longsword. I'm wondering why it doesn't actually say that it's a 2H, but it is a longsword, so that should be... Should be a given. Oh well, we're gonna buy some of this stuff. To see a happy customer. We can have Molotovs. What is this one? Meat bait. That's never really been an interest of mine. I really don't even want to scan the gear in case. Damn it! This is the one that I really want. I want those, but that's expensive, and I've never even had that much money on me. Baby, <sighs> you're always welcome here. Last year, yeah, I bet. You'll see how much better my stuff is in no time. Yeah, I'm kind of irritated that those are there. We did also find out that the maximum player rank and item rank is 9, which is a very weird choice. I mean, it kind of makes sense considering we've been playing the game for so long now, and we're only level 5, and the max is 9. So that's cool. We also got this really awesome bow, the paperclip. Very excited to play around with that. Uh, um, let's see. Yeah, we have these. Let's go ahead and swap these out for purples, because the gold ones do so much damage, I just kind of want to hang on to them for a little bit. And then my crafting. How many of these can I make? A lot. That's good. How many of these can I make? Let's go ahead and make a few of these. Throwing knives, we need to make a bunch of these. I want to make a lot for now. Okay, that's a good point for us to back off on that for now. Now, what is this guy? Um, uh, I want to see what that's all about. I think that's a special objective or mission. Damn it. Come on. Find out what he's got going on. It, it's like a hunting mission, I think, but I might be wrong on that. Let's find out what he's got. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Oh, don't look all butthurt. Hell, I want to thank the cat. Because you look just like the kind of guy who could help me out. Name's Harper. Used to be a night runner a few lifetimes ago, it seems. And while this city has gone straight to hell, that don't mean I gave up being its guardian angel. And right now, we got us a problem. It's called electricity. Where everyone else sees a brave new world, I see the end of the world. I've been paying attention. Suddenly, all these new infected are popping up. You ask me, it's because of the electricity. Of course, it's only a hunch right now, but if I had tissue samples from the infected, bet I could figure out what's up with all these new ones. I've got some setup to do here. You think you can help me by collecting the tissue samples I need? And I'm talking fresh meat, my friend. I wonder. Oh, he, whoa, these are ones we've not seen before. Is that a, that's not a volatile with elemental powers, is it? In this chapter, you will assist Harper, a former night runner, to cull the population of special infected. His bounties will ask you to hunt the infected for a new resource called mutation samples. You'll collect most of it from the mutated infected, volatile hives, and volatile hunt. 
tyrants. Shit. Volatile hives can be found in dark hollows as well as the already completed GRE quarantines. Volatile tyrants are harder to find as they only emerge on rare occasions to feast on the rooftops. I think that's one time we ran into one before. Um, we've seen one maybe. Either either the game never had it and it was just a weird volatile experience and there was just one up there or it was a volatile tyrant. I'm not sure, but there was a volatile up on top of the roof and uh, it kicked the shit out of us. Harper will also offer you special items called mission tickets. These will give you access to a time trial where you use a combination of force, stealth, and parkour to reach a final arena and clear it if infected. They're very punishing, so beware. I don't really care about this guy that much. We'll worry about him later. Okay, um, journal. Something big, the runaways. Eight hole. Um, interesting. The rewards, there's a path direction. The runaways. Let's see what's going on with Ador. I keep on clicking on it, but it never. Oh, there we go. Okay, talk to Margaret the healer. Let's see what we can do about that first and foremost. I never believed that night runners were real. <laughs> Just fairy tales, yeah, maybe. Fairy tales, this all happened like 15 years ago. It's not like this was like 100 years ago or anything. You have all the proof you need that they were real. Some of the dialogue is... Some of the dialogue is so cringe and stupid, it just kind of drives me crazy. Okay, take two. Where was that at? Where the hell am I? Is there another door? Yeah, there we go. Or a Interesting question. Like when he mentioned that the night runners were like a, a few lifetimes ago, it's like I mean the night runners disappeared only a couple of years ago. It couldn't have been that long. Not a lot of zombies in this area. I don't see any actually. Seems like a really... Wait, is that... I can't tell if those are bad guys. No, they're good guys. Dude, I want to play with this. This is going to be fun. Night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. And then I see the goddamn UV lights. Merchants or anything? I don't see anything here. Whatever. We shouldn't submit to PK without a fight. What happened at the bazaar sets the right example. This is pretty sweet. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor, and the guy who needed a salve for his hernia, and... <laughs> what else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. They'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? I killed them. For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. Did come for the prisoners. They're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. I freed the freaking prisoners, dude. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper. Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. 
Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So, you are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't! If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Oh, she has no eyes. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb, despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life, but took my eyes. Probably not a good idea to take the eyes of a healer. They might need those of all things. Hands and eyes. Break a leg or something. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. Oh boy. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night God when its it. petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Seems small like nonsense. Heal. Big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this. I assure you. I already do. Great. So, in order to help a toll. In the one. I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Okay. I don't know if there's a spot on the island that I can wait. It would be nice if I could find a ladder or something. Uh, maybe I could climb up on that, but let's go over here. Yeah, I think this I can climb. Yeah, there we go. Huh. I don't know if you guys watched my Dying Light 1 playthrough, but there was a time where I had some really, like, great abilities one of which was a uh, an ability to rub yourself up in goop and stuff like that like the zombie blood and guts and all that um and what's cool about that is no zombie could see you when you were near them including volatiles so you could go into a volatile nest kick the shit out of everyone <sighs> while dressed in their blood and everything and they just wouldn't see you and you could slaughter them big time plus i had a bunch of really good weapons and yeah i like the system in this better for weapons but but I'm still far too weak to do any damage, and I think this game is significantly harder. Okay, so we're at night now. I need to keep an open eye here. Let's see what the map says exactly about this. Collect recluse petals at night. I wish there was a way for me to be invisible, you know? seems to be oh what is the blue again that's the tyrant location mm. yeah it looks like he's up there right now yeah that thing sees me it's gonna kill me real fast <sighs> Oh shit! Hold on. Let's see if we can play around with these guys real quick. Let's 
surprised. Well, I'm not really hitting headshots, but. They can only get me from here, right? I'm not worried about it. I don't think they can get me from behind, so I'm safe right here. Seems cheap, but we're going to do this for experience. Nice. Taking them all down in one hit. Nice. <laughs> oh, headshots do more damage. Dude, I love this. Hey guys. I wonder how, like, if there's an achievement for headshots. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Dude, the arrows. Nice. This is going to come out to be a very, very useful weapon for me. thing this is gonna be hey oh it's right i forgot we can pick up the arrows clearing out the arrow air, arrow area with arrows oh shit there's a special over there nice oh that sucks we can't uh yeah, we can't use our survivor sense or whatever when we're using this bow because it zooms in. some of this. Okay, he's not too far. Special one. nuts, dude. I can't believe that thing was so close on my ass. And I was able to, oh shit, is that another one? No. Virals. I think. No, he's a viral. Phew. I love that I can retrieve arrows. A really good chance of picking them up is nice. 
good way to farm enemies right here. <coughs> yeah, I need to get my immunity up. <sighs> Bring that up. This is a great way to farm. If you're looking to do it, this is ideal right here. Parkour leveled up. I want to see if I can pick up those other things that dropped from other enemies. Oh, what do you know? Shit. Come on. Did I kill him? I might have. Yeah, I think I did. Either he left. Yeah, he may have left. Bunch of howlers here. We need to be quick about. There we go. Quick about bringing him down and moving on. Oh, shit. me there okay let's move on with the actual mission i just wanted to see if i how this works but now that i know i can farm this in my own time and we can get some major level ups <sighs> shit that guy was a bitch tough too though howler let's get him out of the way This is bad. If I can get in the water, I'll be fine. Get in the water! Because I don't think they can get in here. Oh, 
Okay, I have to clear out those howlers so I can move forward and get closer to that area. Because they called on me real quick. Mm. I hate doing these night missions when I don't feel like I'm strong enough. Although, this is what I want to do first. I want to make sure I get those points just in case I die. So let's sleep it off real quick. Get the points. And then go for another night cycle. Because I don't know if I die if I lose all that credit. Huh. Not as much as I thought. I guess the game expects me to not be so much of a wimp. Okay. The ball tiles are on the ground quite a bit, huh? Let's take a look. We have skills that we can upgrade to. At least the one. I haven't tried this yet. Wall run, wall run. Ah, I see. That one might be good. I think I'm gonna grab this one. What was this one again? That wasn't exactly instant though, in my opinion. Okay. Try this again. Yeah, there's more than one. like something else is there too. What are you? Doesn't matter. Search and get my. That is an auto assist or an, uh, like an aim assist though that I don't like. Let me see where that's at. Controls. Auto aim melee off. Auto aim. No, I don't want that at all. Okay, there we go. Because it was pulling my controls in a direction I didn't want. Ah, uh, here we go. There's something in that truck there, too. Ah, uh, more howlers. Okay, how are we... Oh. What are you? Huh, normal zombie, I guess. good farming spot though I like that okay I think we're clear grab whatever fell over here what the hell's going on down there the spark special about that. Okay, we need to get way over there somewhere. I don't know where the pedals are, though.
Oh shit. Okay, so we're in a safe spot. The water. Surprisingly, there's someone down here. He must have fallen. Oh, there's another. What are you exactly? Shit. There we go. Did she fall in the water? If she did, her body might not be accessible now. There you are. Nice. Okay. Gotta pick them off so they're not in my way. God, the grappling hook would be so good right now. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we need to heal up. Um. Okay. Do we have any specials? No. Okay, so where is our mark? Oh, we're inside the quest area. Is that it? That must be it right there. That's gotta be the one. There's some there too. Let's see if there's any specials nearby before we get up there, just in case. Normal reds. <clears throat> Normal reds. There's a goldie here. There we go. There's another one over there. Shit, there's another special infected there. Over there. Okay. Special, special. Nope, nothing. That one's on the move, and there's one over there too. which medicine to use to treat Hater the Smalls for sure. Oh, there's more golds. Inhibitor container detected. Where? We haven't spent this much time, I think, out at night ever before. might be okay if I'm staying down here, because I don't think they can get in the water, so we're kind of safe. I wish there was a slide option. <sighs> Run and then just, like, kneel down and slide into it. safe here for now. Immunity booster. We'll save the purples. I don't really like the concept that UV protects you from that. That seems very weird. Okay, there's a howler there. Oh, we got purple crates here. 
Okay, where are we on the map? I'm going to mark that down. Uh, It's not letting me, though. Oh, there it goes. Okay, how do we... Maybe I can get in there. There's a gold in there, too. Looks like a weapon. No, it's a chest. Yeah, you're not really in a great spot to be saved. Gosh, shit. Howler. I don't really know what's up here. Oh. Yeah, I see you. Virals. Gold chest. Is there anything that we have? Damn. Nothing I can do to really distract that thing. I wonder, does it disappear if we get... Shit, it does. Close to it. Damn it. Actually, right behind me. I don't know if it can come in the water, but I had no idea. <sighs> that wasn't you. It was something else. It was one of those haggy ones. There you are. I cleared this path, though. <laughs> Where did she go? Oh, there's a lift in here. It's inside that place. Okay, so that... I don't know if that's a hag. I don't really know what that thing is called. The one with the claws and then it jumps at you, but... She's pissed. Okay, so Howler. Gold chest. Alright. We're gonna move forward through the water. I'm glad the water doesn't, like, have a poison to it. Okay, and now we're going to make sure the map is right where we want it to be. We'll come back to that in the daytime. It's too risky up there for now, and I'm not confident that I'm skilled enough to take them on, so... off real fast for some experience. Yeah, this weapon definitely feels heavier. Despite being one-handed. No specials nearby. Oh! Shit, he's armored. Does that hurt you? Yeah. So he does... So you can take this guy out just by kicking the shit out of them. There's probably... Yeah, there's another armored one there, so... It seems like these zombies, if they're armored, doesn't really work out very well. Hitting them is shit, but... <sighs> kicking the hell out of them. That definitely fixes it. Catch you stealing, you lose a hand, pal. Bitch, do you have any idea what I just deal with? Oh, she doesn't do... Yeah, she doesn't do, uh, selling the valuables. Tell your friends to stop here! Until today, I thought our chances against the Renegades were pretty good. I know you don't like it, but 
I got a favor to ask. Turbo 550. So small pedals are good, big pedals are bad. That's all we have to really remember. Uh, let's go talk to this person real quick. Keep everything I sell comes with an no ironclad arm. guarantee. No arm, none. Dirty cleaver. Engine bludgeon. It's expensive, but it's a nice weapon. Let's see, 83, 86, 90, 78. I'm making out like a bandit. <sighs> we'll save it. I just want to be on the safe side. I don't know That's exactly what you need. If it's worth buying that stuff yet. Buy all that. We don't need it. We're good on the you weapons for now. Great item. Sound choice. Come back and shop again. Actually, wait, no, we might have some stuff to sell too. Your wish is my Um. No, I guess we don't. Remember, PK So I could kill Ator. Ator. Ator sounds better, but Ator sound. Jack Matt says, Ator will help you, my friend. Ator. We'll save him. Small pedals. Get him. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. <laughs> there are many witches. A witch? Never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. These people act like they're in the 1400s. Please, just calm down. There's no such thing as that shit. Stupid. We're losing him. Hey, give me those herbs. I can't it. Keep that witch's poison away from him. I can give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men. She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had Ator burn her eyes out instead. Oh, Ator did it. Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! Okay, hold on. Let's see, Ator, herbs. How to save Ator, let's see. Except. It's probably, uh, Ator side quest, below. Okay, shortly after reaching the elevator, small petals, Ator lives, okay. Big Help ones, me. he dies. It Small ones, the yeah. This is effective as I'd hoped. Small is good, big is bad. Do nothing. He goes into a coma, and that's the end of the storyline. He just stays in a coma. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I, I won't be far. Psycho, the witches. Come on, dude. People are so easily like influenced. Looks Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Where'd I know? It was Waltz. We were there. We watched it happen. I thought he was dead. I looked at his body after that encounter. I thought for sure he was toasted. I hope Matt knows what he's doing. He looked like he was dead. All the other men were dead. Boy, Jack Matt. It's annoying that I can't just freely jump where I want here. I don't know, Ator was kind of a hard ass, but he was a nice guy. Well, not a nice guy, but he was a good guy, I think. I'm not convinced he was bad in any way, so I definitely wanted to save him. Some of the peacekeepers are pieces of trash, but he's not one of them, I don't think. At least he doesn't strike me as that. Hope I'm not wrong. Juan. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> he is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. Sure thing, Juan. No, thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Have I embarrassed you? Is that lamp floating back there? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. French people are so pushy and rude. I must admit, I admire your That's a generalization. Some I'm French people. I'm curious people. what Her. you do after I sorry. send you packing. Yet again. You'll regret it. French people are often depicted as pushy and rude, is what I meant to say. 16-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled the year before the pandemic broke out. I'm gonna get canceled for that French comment, huh? I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. Bullshit. <sighs> What a sublime present. People like getting drunk that much? Trashy. In a mug. <laughs> Loves finer things, drinks it out of a mug. Looks like it was made by a third grader. In art class. To your health, handsome. Can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. <sighs> so, I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Hmm. I wonder if that's really... Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Probably didn't. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Hmm. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in the city. And it's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed. And the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to... To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? Damn, he knows everything. I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, 
Go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing he's half the battle, kiddo. Juan's kind of an ass. Well, he is an ass. But we know what type of person he is, so we know his shadiness. Like, we come to expect it. So I'm not concerned about him backstabbing us at all. He's a businessman. He's doing this for the better of himself. We know that, and that's fine. Plus, it seems like Matt is the only one that's doing something shady that we can't account for. Juan has no reason to backstab us for any 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 of the like. That just doesn't make sense why he would do that. But it would make sense that he would want to work with us so he can get something out of it or so he can make money. But turning us in or anything like that, I don't know. It just doesn't... I, I don't feel that. I don't distrust Jack Matt, by the way. I feel like there is... I mean, he's definitely trustworthy, but he has something else that he's that he's after. He's after something else, and I don't know what it is yet. It might not even be a bad thing, but when it comes to trusting, it's like okay, I'll uh, I'll pick the side of the uh, anything good here. Side of the sexual deviant and businessman over say the side of like the military guy. I also want to see if we can head out into that area now. That Oh shit, uh, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. I need to rest it up first. Oh good, we're right close. Thank you. So we're going to do this in the day. Wait, what the hell? There we go. Why does it just go to sleep? I want to hit up that spot that had the golden chest in it. Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Protecting people is second nature. Why not these survivors? I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philadelphia. But this is order. Thanks to you. I'll know as well. Over and out. Told the line any harder and your fucking toes will get cut off. Fuck this shit. Those guys are far too loud from the distance. There needs to be a better proximity chat for characters. Like, I hear them while, like, they're right next to me, even if I'm, like, 50 yards away. Weird things like that make this game... I don't know. Not able to reach its full potential, I think. But we know what happened to Ador, though. We know that it was Waltz. Did something hey, else happen after the fact? I love conducting business at the Metro. See you back here. Yeah, girl. All right, let's head up into that spot and see if we can get those purple and gold items now. Those aren't renegades, are they? Why? I don't have any military men to help me out. All right, fine. All right, assholes. We 86 to them instantly, vaporized them all. And we got our arrows back. That's awesome. I had no idea that I'd be able to pick them all off one hit at a time. That's fantastic. Oh, that's gonna make things so much easier. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get this bow at a higher level down the road too. I wanna know if I can beat the shit out of this creature though. Does she, does she show up? Mutation samples. How many do I need? I feel like I've got plenty, but... If that creature is... Hmm. Not showing up after all. There's no time. I gotta get out of this cage. Uh, I mean, there, are, there's no PK guarding him. Cage for me, over, man. Help me down. What 
What do you got for me? He looks like I'm a renegade. What do you expect, stupid kid? Yeah. Okay, bitch. That was weird. I'm a renegade, stupid kid. Okay, well, we know not to release them ever again. I can't tell. I'm not interested in helping that out. Does it hurt? <laughs> Leave me alone. You've got to trust us. So here's that lift. Alright, let's see if it's in this chest at all. There is some stuff there, okay. Please, let me go. Quite a few golds in here. Alright, what do we got? Police stick. Sexy. Damn it. Okay, worry about that in a second. This must be it right there. stuff first. Med kit and uh, medical field mask. Arr. Dude, hit me with freaking brawler. I just want to fight. Tanks, medical. I just like the fight. I can't believe anyone would ever want to be anything else. I would never want to be a medic. Seems lame. Fight and kill, baby. That's all I want. Paintball mask. Tank one. Actually, what do I have on right now? Oh, blue brawler. Yeah, we'll put that on. What do we have here? Four, five on tank. Interesting. Why is this one gear armor five? That's, uh, I don't know. Did the medic stuff not have gear points? They don't. Armor sense duration, damage resistance, night, day. But does the armor actually mean anything? I don't know. Yeah, I gotta brawler and tankerize myself here. Okay, so I think there was what? This? I wish the safe code would just show itself to us so we didn't have to go into our inventory to read it. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything. Huh. The universe and everything in binary. Universe and everything in binary. Hmm. Someone wrote a full article on this stupid website, paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. Uh, and it's just like, why can't why write a full article about this? Uh, let's see. It's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and a supercomputer has deduced the answer to all of it since 42. Of course, it cannot be the full answer. For starters, every safe combination needs three numbers and not two. And secondly, who cares? It happens four numbers for you, and binary is 10, 10, 10. Okay. Jesus Christ. Did not need all that. God. 10, 10, 10. Thanks. Stop wasting my time. I don't know how binary works in terms of 42 going to 10, 10, 10. That's crazy. No idea how. What the hell? What the hell was that item? That was a special item. If I didn't know any better, I would assume it was a cheat item. Or some sort of code item type of thing. Okay, so we got that. I feel like there was still more stuff in here, though. Maybe, anyway. There's something. Oh, it's a collectible on the trash. Oh, it's a mural. 
must have been everything that was here. All right, let's go here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. That was easy. Thanks, guys. Way too easy. That guy might turn. Okay, he didn't. Lucky for you, bud. Peacekeeper rescue, baby. Oh, there's a rope that goes up there. Let's do that. Oh, wait. Oh, he did turn. He was fine, and then he... Yeah. I should not have untied him. Now I know. Oh, we got more of these guys. Okay, let's finish these guys off, too, then. Metropolitan Art Gallery. What is this? I don't know what this place is. Okay, so this must be a hideout, maybe. Oh, there's stuff back there. Let's evaluate this real quick before we move on, shall we? Is there something in here? Nice, pick them all off before they can even react. There's a shit ton. Oh, those are zombies, okay. What is this about? Faction, huh? Let's see. There's that windmill. Yeah, I can't get in there. Let's see what's up here. I'm curious about this. Well, that didn't work. I'm surprised this doesn't count as a ladder. It's like the exact same technology. <laughs> Alright, we're at that hour point, but I still want to do a couple more things before we wrap up here. <laughs> you can't call that thing you Safe spot. Good, solid rest. I think that's one there. We're, we're going to do that first. Get up there. That was interesting how the peacekeeper went down and turned into a zombie, though. I mean, I get why it happened. Totally get it. Still, a little wild, though. All right, let's go up here. There we go. Not falling for any of that shit again. Anybody who's locked up by the PKs deserves it. I'm not falling for that ever again. But all right, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Dying Light 2. We will continue with more tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark. Before you go, show some love, hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you haven't yet, take a look at the description box. There's some links here that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark 9 Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Also, there's a link to geekoutpost.com, an entertainment and media site that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great way to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors if you are interested in that sort of thing. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time, and hope to see you when we continue with more Dying Light 2. Stay human. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later. Do about it, is there?